Okay, folks, Eastern America here. Please subscribe, please like, please share, hit that notification button. We're concerned. Uh, 300,000 drafted Russian soldiers to fight against 70,000 Ukrainian soldiers. It's not a fair fight. And um, I think what we're going to find is artillery and high Mars and some other good stuff and maybe uh, entire uh, squadrons of, of Ukrainian Air Force jets just just shredding 300,000 soldiers on the battlefield. If I was a Russian uh, male, um, I, I, a young man or whatever, 75-year-old men being drafted does not sound cool, you know. Uh, I would get out of Russia now before you get drafted and turn into uh, hamburger meat on the battlefield. Um, this is for professional soldiers. Any soldier on a battlefield should be a professionally trained soldier and all volunteer who's in in it for in it to win it. And uh, Russia is is going to end up with a bunch of nothing but women left in their country and no men at all. And that's not cool. You know, you, if you don't have any men, you can't have babies and women can't have get pregnant out of thin air. So out of thin air. So I'm just saying, you know, you, you need to Russia. You need to look at yourself closely because you, you're going to end up with no army and no military and all your machines and stuff are going to be destroyed. And there's just going to be nothing left. And President Putin, I respect you, and I'm not trying to be disrespectful, but I, I would stop now. This is going absolutely nowhere. Uh, today is uh, today is September 20, 21st and, uh, of 2022, and this is just not cool. And this is not right, and it's time to stop. Uh, you know, there's no shame in admitting you're wrong. I make mistakes all the time, and I apologize. And... Everybody makes mistakes, and you can be a leader of an entire country and tell the world that you're sorry, you made a mistake, and just make it right. That's all you got to do. You, you don't need to do a suicide run with your entire military and your entire country. There's, there's no shame in saying you're wrong, you made a mistake, and maybe even it was an accident, you weren't thinking clearly, but you, there is a way out, but you, it's going to have to be made right. And uh, I am so, so disappointed that uh, that Russian people have to go through this. I know they're majority probably good people. It's just uh, when you're wrong, you're wrong. When you're right, you're right. Sometimes you have to take the hard right over the easy wrong. Anyway, my friends, please subscribe, please like, please share, and let's pray for the world. And wherever you are, bye for now.